What do Mexico and Japan have in common? Surprisingly, a lot. And there is one woman who captures a big part of that essence in her artwork. What you know about Shizu Saldamando? Growing up with Mexican and Japanese parents in the heart of San Francisco's Mission District, Shizu was exposed to various subcultures in a way that most people only dream about. Instead of shying away from the diverse social constructs she encountered at a young age, Shizu used backyard punk parties, queer dance clubs, and alleyway hangouts to explore subculture through personal narrative and experience. As a kid, she and her friends would buy Teen Angels, a magazine of lowrider and cholo art, and try to copy the drawings of Aztec pyramids and naked girls. From there, her distinct style developed, fusing elements from the burgeoning Chicano art scene with traditional Japanese techniques and shadowless line work. Her art seamlessly merges painting and collage, often using origami paper as a medium to depict cholo motifs. She has also worked in a style called arte paño, which is a type of prison art that uses napkins and handkerchiefs to portray family members in ballpoint pen renderings. One of the main goals of her art is to take mundane, everyday social interactions and find the pure magic in each and every one. Instead of depicting people of color as one dimensional, as the media so often does, she wants to show the world the multifaceted and vastly influential nature of the so-called mundane. Earlier this year, Shizu became Hotel Figueroa's first selection for their featured artist series, which celebrates the work of female culture makers in Los Angeles. Influences from her youth in the mission can be seen throughout this beautiful collection. Instead of documenting high-end nightlife or trendy Hollywood clubs, Shizu draws inspiration from social spheres that center around a more intimate LA nightlife, such as jam sessions and house parties. In this sense, she is paying homage to LA but from a distinctly Shizu point of view, much different from what the observer might expect. Another interesting facet of her work is that she always involves her subjects in any event or showcase on display. The first people on her invitation list are always the people in her pieces because they set the tone and support the energy that is then exemplified by her body of work. These days, Shizu works from a private tattoo studio in Pomona, California. It has become a way for her to make money without worrying too much about who's gonna buy her art. It also reconnects her with old friends who want her work on their bodies and maintains her connection to the larger Los Angeles community. She views each tattoo as a collaboration between her and the recipient, saying, it's me and the person creating a piece together, and I get to know people and be inspired by them to then create more portraits. At the end of the day, Shizu wants people to know that culture is created every day, right in their backyard. And in doing so, she is spreading that same culture to the masses through her unique and thought-provoking artwork. Make sure you're helping us elevate the Latino stories shaping our culture by giving us a like and follow. I'm Bruno, peace.